You are for sure not virgin playing this crap. Not wrong. You have mental damage for maining this trash. <laughs> Feels like that. Totally balanced. You are not... <laughs> You're not ugly as hell at all. And loser L to play top. Try playing real champs, loser. Okay, what's a what's a real champ? What's a real champ? Not Riven. <laughs> Every move you made, I was watching you. Okay, so if we're gonna go in as Nasus, it's a good matchup. It's a matchup I want to snowball. Now I'm not gonna go for a safe like setup like this, right? I will go for this because it's a free matchup. I'm not gonna get poked out of lane. I have a good matchup, so now I will take this. Let's say I was laying against like Syndra top here. I would probably go TP and a more scaling oriented build. Nasus is a super weak early game champion. And as a result of that, I'm gonna go Longshot 3 because I want to have the ability to trade a lot. He has Resolve Fleet Ghost, no Flash, which is important to recognize. And I also have a Kinder Jungle. So I want to try and see if I can cheese the kid at level 1, because she's super weak in the level 1. Okay, Nasus has no ward. That's good to know as well. I'm gonna ward here. They don't know that. But what I'm gonna do right now is sit, my, sit in this position. And I want to try and zone the Nasus from the first 3 minions worth of XP. If I can zone it from the XP, that's the most important. Yeah, Rex had top in LEC today, I'm not surprised. Okay, D shoot. I'm gonna wait for them to get a little bit lower, and then I'll step forward. And now I need to make the Nasus choose. Either get XP or lose half his HP. I'm still in XP range, he's not. So I get all the XP, now she got nothing, and now I drop the aggro. I want to last it only at the latest frames now. And by doing so, okay, Nasus goes for. Oh yeah, that's where I set my Q. That's where I set my Q, bro. The wave is pushing into me, and Nessus is down in EXP right now because he killed means too fast. I'm only lasting at the latest frame, so right now Nessus is still level 1. And as a result, I get a beautiful trade, and he's still forced to walk up for Lassus because the wave is pushing towards me. I'm gonna play from a level 3 now. Nessus is still going to remain level 2. Next Lassus he goes for, he is screwed. Wave is still pushing into me. I'm gonna be zoning him from more EXP. This is why EXP snowballs much harder than gold, guys. Zone it from the Kenamine EXP. I'm gonna get the EXP myself. I don't mind getting the lo losing the gold. And now I need to drop anchor from the mean so the wave keeps pushing into me. You see, he's still level 2. I'm on my way to level 4. I'm gonna keep zoning him from EXP whenever I can. Beautiful. This is all set up from level 1. So he just hit level 3. But look, I'm already halfway to 4. Usually this mean should have given him level 4. Kindred is not here, okay. Turning out the wave a little bit. I had to flash, else I don't get him. I think I could have killed him without having to use flash, but I messed up with one of my Q spacings. He go back into the clip where I killed him. One Q, I placed it on the ground instead of following him. Now I'm slow pushing this wave, and then I'm gonna hard push this wave, get it to crash, wave will bounce back into me, and that's what we're gonna be. Or so for last perpetually, and he is gonna be stuck on the bounce. I still have eight conqueror stacks. Twelve. The reason I killed him, guys, is because I had eight conqueror stacks before the skirmish happened. And then I auto attacked him, I instantly had ten. I had all my abilities with ten conqueror stacks. Well, then you one shot your opponent. If you're able to manage to keep your conqueror stacks in between small trades, this is what happens. Beautiful. You have mental damage for maining this trash. <laughs> no, I don't go call fields. This gives me 20 AD. This gives me 30 AD, three long swords. And we're gonna level six here by two minions. And I'm gonna one shot him. Wow. I could have played that cleaner. I could have played that way better, way better, way better. I didn't watch all the Kindred though at the end. The combo I did on the Kindred there was E, auto attack, W, Q, auto attack again. It's a one shot burst combo. I'm gonna slow push this wave now because I need 200 gold to finish my item. And this wave will only grant me a 100 gold. So by slow pushing this wave and then hard pushing this wave, I'll have my Eclipse and then we reset and then we play Ecli the bounce with Eclipse. I'm gonna QQ the castles here. And now we get Eclipse, so it is it. I'll also put a ward here, refresh this. I'm by super anyways, because I have full item. I need to, don't need to buy the refillable. I'd rather rush towards probably standard sky. Beautiful. 
If you lay on top of him and get the free kill. I need to get 900 gold to my reset so I get CDR boots. I think I get this plate. Beautiful. Thank you for the grubs. And now Heartbreak is way for reset. Okay. You are for sure not virgin playing this crab. Not wrong. Let's see. I think Nasus is not happy with the level 1 trick I did with him. I shouldn't fight until I have ult here. Because Kenji could look. I got a flash to kite. Keep up Conqueror. I have my Eclipse now. I try to zone him. I have Eclipse again. This is good to play Riven again. Feels like that. Totally balanced. Yeah, bro. I have full item. No other champ can do that. Pretty sure so many champions kill him there 2v1, but uh, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. The flash was really good. When I instantly flash and cap up the Conqueror stacks, I can kite my E. I can kite the uh, Eclipse cooldown, and then they just have no chance, right? That's why you flash instantly. I tried to CC the Kindred and then kill the Nasus in the meantime, but I think I should just one-shot the Kindred. Before his ult could come out even in general. I have 50 haste now, so I can pretty much full Q delay. Get on top of him with EQ3. And look, my W, my Q is instantly back. Oh. I know he has ult, by the way. I'm waiting for the winner to run out. Same thing, I'm gonna Q delay, guys. Watch this, okay? Full Q delay. Not a Q delay. And look, I instantly have my Q back. That's why I live. That's why you Q delay, guys. You get a free gap close, and you instantly get your Q back as well. But you do need a little bit of haste for it. Does that make sense? Type 1 of it made sense. How to utilize Q delay, guys. Arguably the most important mechanic to know for Riven. You are not... A <laughs> and real champs. I gotta learn how to play real champs. You are not ugly as hell at all. And loser, L to play top. Try playing real champs, loser. Okay, what's a, what's a real champ? What's a real champ? Not Riven. <laughs> I'm gonna cue him backwards. I just wanna kill this guy so he gets angry and angry and angrier. I want him to think he can get this cannon. I'm gonna let the cannon die to the turret. He's not gonna be happy after that. <laughs> oh, he is fuming. Oh, he is mad, mad. Hello, can you do a video on how to beat someone with fundamentals? Bro. I'm literally doing it every game, man. You pig. Okay. No, I gave up. I'm waiting for my eclipse. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get hate messages for that one, by the way. So what I did there is I QW'd him for Eclipse, uh, for Eclipse, and then I crit him for healing, right? So- oh, Holy mo! Wait, what? Oh! What? I didn't even mean to do that! That was luck! I didn't- <laughs> I didn't mean to click that! I mean, I meant to do that, by the way. I meant to escape the- This guy's no flesh. It's the Pierre. Or no, no mana. You have no mana. Ignite! Ah! Oh, that's a mad dog. I can just feel the. Do you guys also sense the rage when he walked away from that meal? Like after he hit the meal, did you guys feel his anger through the screen after I like hit him and crit him? Like, I can feel this guy's rage fuming. I can barely auto attack though. Ooh. 
Lilla top can work, lilla top can work, ja. Spacing is on again. The spacing is on again. Did you guys see me like walk back, like walk, walk back for one second and instantly forward and slice them in the... Five more kills on the NAS before the end of the game is ten dollars because he toxic. Five more kills on the Nasus before the end of the game equals ten dollars. Say less. Cause he toxic. Say less. Say less. Five more kills on him. No biggie. Okay, wait a second though. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna go for the Nasus. We're gonna go for the Nasus. We're gonna go for the Nasus. And the Jinx needs to die, so I guarantee you get the kill. Does that make sense? Okay, nice. Man from White is already shaking. I got item and base, let's go. What? Yo, what, what was was I lagging or did you guys see me completely teleport as well? That's two out of five. I've forgiven, baby. Buffer even baby. Buffer even baby. Wait, we ended too fast now. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He's going down with a fight though. Wait, oh, he just murdered mold my AD carry. He just mold my entire team. Give it to me, baby. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Cringe ribbon OTP. That was all they had. To get still. Sub your <laughs> character loose. <laughs> Bro, they are so disgustingly mad at me just playing ribbon, by the way. This guy flames me, start to finish, and I am on sportsman like. Okay, my bad. Yeah.